Well, we've gone as far as we can go here on the Weaver navigation. We're at Western Point in Runcorn. There's a really low bridge ahead. It's only about two foot six off the top of the river, so we've got to turn around and head back. And it's blowing a hoolie. It's blooming cold. It's May the 17th, believe it or not. Still, warm days to come, I'm sure. That's an abandoned arm there of the Runcorn and Western Canal. And there is the low bridge nobody's going to get into. There seems to be quite a lot of thrusting of bells going on. The bloody wind has got me going everywhere, that's my excuse. And we're a bit converted, aren't we? Bow thrusters of the future. <laughs> Visitors. Hello. So we're here at Dutton Luck, we're on the visitor mooring. We're going to go through the lock uh, later, but yesterday I went for a walk, uh, training for my charity walk from London to Brighton at the end of the month, and I happened across this wood called Bird's Wood, and it's, it's stunning and it's carpeted completely with bluebells, so I promised Fran we'd go and have a look now. We're a bit dressed, overdressed I think, the sun's come out, it's getting a bit warm. It's a crazy day, it's roasting when the sun's out and then the wind is really cold, so we don't know what we're doing, but... <laughs> In the woods it'll be lovely anyway. Right, so come along with us, have a look.
and it's really peaceful. It's such a little find. Rich found it just because his plotted walk came through here yesterday. But it seems to be miles from anywhere and it's really ancient. There's, there's such old trees here and real mixed, completely natural woodland and it's becoming a little bit of a rare thing. But it's so peaceful. If I had to choose an environment to live in, whether it was beach or by the sea or river, it would just be woodland. I absolutely love it. Just, you can feel the oxygen and uh, I'll get waxing lyrical if you're not careful, but I love it, absolutely love it. All seasons. And the one spot in a woodland is completely different each month of the year. It's just fab. Well, that just about sums up our little trip up and down the weaver from end to end and backwards and forwards <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it we really did that's oh, a fabulous river and if you're a boater and you want somewhere different to go and peaceful and quiet it's beautiful Definitely. Mind you, it might not be peaceful and quiet now but now that we've been singing the praises of it and the foxes have been down there as oh, well oh absolutely yeah. and robbie everybody's been there yeah. but it has been lovely there's, like all rivers, you can't just moor up wherever you want, but there are, every couple of miles, lovely, lovely mooring beautiful, spots. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, plenty to see. The towns are not close to the river. I mean, you, you might struggle a little bit if you need shops right by your doorstep. You need to be prepared to walk off a little mm. bit if you want shops, or just go prepared. But, um, yeah, it's yeah, so great. peaceful. It great. And the wildlife down there. Uh, rivers are so different to canals when it comes to the wildlife. Uh, often we'd have a cormorant sitting outside the boat. At one particular Fishing. lock, there was um, a wooden, I don't know if it was a weir, but there was a piece of wood going. And every day he would just sit there drying his wings off, wouldn't mm. he, after he'd been fishing. Um, yeah, never ever did see our... Um, otters. otters unfortunately no. i'm convinced we heard them but that's yeah. not good enough really no <laughs> never mind so we're in a secret location we can't disclose where we are all will be revealed in the next episode yes <laughs> but i just really want to thank everybody for all your good wishes and um and the lovely comments uh, about my walk with my daughter from london to brighton and the fundraising has just gone through the roof. I I thought I'd get somewhere about five hundred pounds. We're up to four and a half thousand pounds. That's just me. That's not Claire's own funding. So thanks to everybody that's donated, big or small, it doesn't matter. It's just going to a, such a worthy cause. And if you could have seen him when he got back, the pair of them, they were just absolutely knackered <laughs> falling asleep in their dinner claire fell asleep in the shower that night standing up in the shower rich had requested a salad for dinner and i think he wished he'd had mcdonald's afterwards yeah. but he was falling asleep in the middle of it um they were shattered they're getting to the point where it was almost delirious wasn't it yeah it was, uh... yeah but it's made it over the next few days when the money started coming in it made you just oh. feel how worthwhile it was didn't you I can't believe the, the um, what's the word, uh, generosity mm. of everybody. It just absolutely humbled me, it really yeah. has. And so, the um, comments, you know, so many people have been touched in some way by cancer or lost, lost a loved one. And obviously, and you know, whether it was a, a pound you gave or lots more, some people gave a lot of money, but every pound 
curls, doesn't it? Yeah, it, just it does. It really fabulous. does. So if you didn't see the video, there it is. Have a quick look and um, just see what we actually went through. 24 <laughs> hours yeah. of walking plus, and uh, it was a, a, a fantastic time, fantastic thing to do with my daughter and... Uh, uh, I won't be doing it again. <laughs> no, Claire, he said that's it. But um, it took you, I don't know, not long to recover, but about four days before we could really go off. You had blisters, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. And aches. So we were stuck in the same place for um, quite a few days. And also running up to the walk. There'd been the preparation for it. And a weekend in Brighton. So we really feel like it's, it's taken out about two weeks, isn't it? The yeah, whole thing, it has. really. Yeah. Um, and now we've got to really should be going back to the boatyard because all new boats have to have a snagging list sorted out afterwards. It's like a new house, little things move and as the boat's getting hot and cold, some of the wood is expanding yeah. and <laughs> a little bit of trim little fell off. Little bits of trim like this that are falling <laughs> off. Um, nothing important and we need a service as well. So we really need to go back to the boatyard, but we're not keen, are we? just want because, to get going back to cruising there like yeah. we used to um but we'll get there in another another few weeks and we'll be yeah. back out there doing yeah. what we normally do and enjoying yeah. enjoying the countryside yeah we're not in the countryside at the moment and haven't been for over a week <laughs> and before that it was brighton which definitely wasn't countryside uh, was no. it so. london and brighton still just there get our go. chi back again <laughs> but yeah the next video is going to be an exciting one i hope I hope so too. I haven't uh, even looked at the footage yet. The other thing that I wanted to just say about the, the Weaver is the company that we had. And yeah. the foxes were with us. Sean and Colin were with us. Well, in fact, every time we moved, they came and followed us, <laughs> didn't they? It seemed that every time well, we moved around. up somewhere, um, but we did both, we we're very similar and we both liked the same mooring spots. So even though we were going off and cruising, and on, of course on a river, you haven't got to wait for a winding hole that was quite wide you can turn whenever you want so we were going off for the day and then coming back to join each other in the evening in fact one one night we'd moored up say up somewhere and didn't like it and about eight o'clock we said should we go back and we just went back foxes didn't know what happened because when we actually pulled up to them it was dark wasn't it, it was just about <laughs> quarter past ten at night wasn't it, it was good fun though good evening cruise <laughs> yeah so I wanted to say thank you to Sean and Colin for cakes and company yeah. while we were on the Weaver because we had such a wonderful time with them. Good on you guys. <laughs> I've got nothing left to say. No, I don't think I have either. I'm not responsible for this haircut. Oh, yeah. If you've noticed, I've had the worst haircut I've ever had, I think. And it wasn't rich. And I've learned a lesson, as I'm always <laughs> saying, you know, you turn each situation down around to make the best of it. And I've realised in all the haircuts that Rich has given me, which is probably about six, I've always been happy with them. And probably in the last six haircuts that I've had at salons, salons? Salons. Salons. About three of them I've not been happy with. So, that's it, hairdressers. I'm not coming back to you. Richard is my yeah. new stylist <laughs> forever Ricardo, now. Ricardo. So, yeah. I'm not, I can just do straight cut at the bottom. I'm not doing... What do you call it? Sculpturing at the back. <laughs> you make me sound like an art exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it is what it is. That's what we always say. So at least I've got I hair. <laughs> keep telling you you look gorgeous, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's it. We will see you next time. Yes, and definitely. If you haven't, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. And big thank you to all our patrons Definitely. on Patreon mm. and anybody that contributed on PayPal and to help this channel keep going. Really appreciate all your uh, donations and um, thanks and again support. to everybody that's donated to the charitable cause. That's just been phenomenal. <laughs> Cheers now. Take care. See you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>